This is a really bad situation when a pup gets stuck like this. It can possibly stop breathing. It also starts a roadblock so that all the other puppies can't come out and they can possibly asphyxiate. All right. All right, you can go. Okay, Yeah, thank you. So this is my problem. This is why it's such an immersion. You can actually see the head of this one. You can see the mouth gaped open. It's going in the canal. This guy is stuck all the way out. Got him here, one, two, three, four, five, six. But as you can see, these guys are stuck in here. So this is definitely an emergency C-section, because if I don't get these out, these puppies are going to die. Just hoping they still live. How many puppies are we expecting, Doc? Six, hopefully. There's a puppy stuck in the pelvic canal, so we got to get right to surgery. Ivy catheter's in. She's already on fluids. When you go in, you feel a puppy that's stuck. You know that this is real bad. It's almost like a train, you know? You can't get the caboose out unless you have the engine come out. And in this case, the engine was locking everything up. All right, initial incision is made. Man, it's a big baby. Big. This is the uterine horn. This is where all the babies are located. This is the baby that's stuck. I'm going to see what we got going there first. Ah, oh, boy. His head is actually stuck in there. You got something I can put this puppy in? Unfortunately, this is the one that was stuck. Whoa! You got Whoa. one beat? Slight. Doc, work on this baby. I felt a slight heartbeat in that. Unbelieving in that one. Coming out with a pup. Pup number two. Pup number three. Pup four. Here we go, Ari. Over your head. Come here, baby. I got another baby coming up. Oh, that's a lot of mucus. Yeah, a lot. They all have a lot of fluid. Because of the backup, all these puppies are still in this amniotic fluid. As they're getting stressed, the amniotic fluid is going inside the nose, the mouth. And when they come out, these puppies aren't breathing. Doc, I got one more coming. Make sure one of y'all work on it for me. OK. Here's all the problem child, Dr. Horton. Let's go ahead and get her sewn up. Who wants to craft it? Is that you? All right. That's one. We got one crying so far. The other one. ones are working on it. OK. That's the one I hear more crying out there. I hear some squealing. There we go. All right, baby, I hear you. Hear some squealing, Polly. Mm -hmm. Now, this one's a trouble. There's no heart rate. I can take over. There you go. It's just this one left. I don't hear a heart rate anymore. That so he was blocking her, probably, and. Andrea, you heard the final tally? So we had six dot, we lost two. That one and then the last one? Mm-hmm. That's pretty bad shape coming out. Yeah. Sucks. You ready to get mom off the table? Yeah. Feel good that we got mom off the table. She seemed to be doing pretty well with anesthesia. Good news is this pup is definitely a lot better than when it came in. We talked to the owner. Fortunately, he got us to us, and we were able to save four of those puppies. Mom's doing good, uh -huh. but I only say four of the puppies. Appreciate it. Well, come on, we'll go look. All right. But mom is coming off the table and she's doing good. Oh, great, great. And here's your babies. Oh my God, look at them. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> look at this one right here. Yeah. Oh man. I feel it. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah. You get no chill, mom. <laughs> yeah. I'll come get you when mom wake up. She'll be busting out of here. Appreciate you, man. All right. They ready to suck them. Four is better than nothing. Feels great. You know, my girl's going back with me with the puppies. Appreciate everybody over here. <laughs> I need your help with these. Now, this kind of help, I can do this. You can do this? Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. You're awesome. Wiggly little thing. Hold tight now. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, mama. Take care of them babies, mama. Okay. They doing their thing. 